Oh, wait, <laughs> greetings internet. Greetings, Internet. We just got to our rental. So lovely. I know. We're, where are we? We're in East Hampton yes, right now? Yes, we are in East Hampton. Uh, that's like no service. We're in East Hampton. <laughs> Brooke drove us out here. Yay. Very happy, feeling blessed that we didn't have to take the train. It was train. a great drive, honestly. Like, it was a great we just, drive. We had nonstop talking. We had, we had no, so silences. no silences. We had so much to catch up on. And so much. Now we have nothing to talk about. I'm just kidding. We're all out. Brooke's making a darn, like a, a charcuterie board as soon as Oh yes, there. I have. Uh, I went to Trader Joe's. I got us all stuff. I'm hungry. I'm starting to like get to that point of I'm you know hungry. I need a pre-dinner snack. Yeah, I, I right? feel like I was like yawning a bit. I'm a little tired. We have to like got to fuel. wake up. We have, we have a night ahead of us. We have Katie. a night of festivities. We, we do have a party. Gretchen's coming in in a few hours, and I'm so excited to see the house. Like Me we too. just pulled up, and I'm like, oh, wait, this is live. This is a live, our live reaction. Live reaction. There is our house. It's so cute. Like, can you believe that someone was like, hey girls, like come yeah. out. Um, yeah, stay in this house, come to our dinner. Yeah. Um, and with your friends, like, it's heck, amazing. The heck is our life. Anyway, it's so cool. We're gonna go in and we'll show you guys the house. Cute. That was good. I love this new camera. She's a beaut. I feel like if I were a house in Manhattan, I would like this because you see, like, it looks like. You know, Did you like, say if I were a house? <laughs> if I were a house. Because I want to surprise people, right? Wait till we get inside. Yeah. Just you wait. We have seen the photos, we have seen what we're getting ourselves into. We're not here for a long time. But we're here for a good time. Now we're just trying to figure out how to get into the house. That is what we're doing. Did you say it was by the mailbox? Please hold, we're gonna uh, figure out how to get into the home. <laughs> this can't be. We got the goods. We got it. We're not gonna tell you the code because that's just too easy. But now we're gonna go inside. <gasps> oh. You're kidding. I mean, it's so, this looks like straight out of Arch Digest. Look at the kitchen. Arch Digest who? Oh my god, look at this. This is literally, I think, the cover of Arch Digest from a few months. Like, I have this, this a magazine kitchen. with this on the cover, I swear to God. This look, the kitchen looks like something you would see, like, in a furniture store. Like, you know, that you would, like, yes. be like, oh, I, you know. I'll take like, all of yes. it. I'll take it all. Holy crap. I mean. And it's so bright in here. Look at all the sunlight. The windows. It's drenched in sunlight. Dr that's what oh. they would say on the listing, huh? There is a basement. I, we're gonna go there last. There yeah, I'm getting scared. Oh wow. Okay, we have like the the fireplace. It appears there. Oh my God, there's Fun Boy floats. They knew we were coming. We're having a cannonball in there tonight. <laughs> you you, you doubt me. Too? You doubt me. No, I, I can trust you doing that. Wow. So. Oh my God, these rooms. I know. I know. Oh. Like, look how nice that bed is. Okay. Holy crap. I'm just taking the kids on a tour. Come along, everyone. Wait, this looks like the one hotel. Let me see, let me see. I think Ooh, we, I oh think. God, they're, so low. they're so low. They're so trendy. Wait, is there even a box spring in there? <laughs> Back then, I feel like, like it's all Wait, Kate Moss. Wow, I'm feeling very blessed, feeling very lucky too. Yeah, this is insane. Um, like, what did we do to deserve this? I don't know, I don't know. It's because you let the jitney in. Yeah. When we, wait, when we were driving over here, the jitney was trying to merge, and Brooke's like, should I do it? Should I let them in? Should and I, I be I the one them them to them. let them in the lane and like let them go? They really clearly need to go. And she's like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to let the jitney in. So the good karma you got from that is this gorgeous <laughs> is this gorgeous. I can't with this place. I just, I need a moment. This is just goals all around. Goals all around. Plus we have the pool. I know, isn't it just? They all have bathrooms. They, everyone gets a bathroom. You get a, you bathroom. Get a bathroom. You get a bathroom. You get a bathroom. I forgot this about the Hamptons, just how quiet and serene. <laughs> I look so happy right now. All right, I guess it's time to bring everything in. Should time. Shall we bring it in? Time to bring it in. Time to bring in the goods. Bring it on home. Bring, um, well, we're home. This is crazy. I know. It's so big. How did they get it up there? How is it being supported right now? You know, we've obsessed about the house enough. Now we should bring in the supplies. Right. One thing about us is we will always bring a charcuterie board no matter where we're going, no matter what occasion. If it's big, small, if it's in between, you know. There will be charcuterie. There will be a charcuterie board. There will be. I literally packed this from Trader Joe's. Like I was like, no, I'm 
like triple cream up. brie oh, oh it's so good. with it's wild mushrooms. mushrooms oh you're gonna love it and the shakes from the coffee that i just had I'm like uh, i need food like you know when you get to that point where you're like i just like i need food now it's so bad because i always wait till that point and it's, then I'm like ravenous, and yeah. then I have a stomach ache, and I'm like, oh, why'd I do that to myself? Maybe yeah. we could just learn how to, you know, balance. Someday, yeah. one day I'll learn. Maybe next year. I just want, you know, when you're hungry, you just want. Yeah, I yeah. This kitchen you're though. not you when you're hungry, Brooke. I'm not. You're not you. I'm not. You know that Snickers ad? Yes. So we just discovered, we had a whole situation of well, not we knowing. We discovered this, because we were like, there's, there's no TV. We're like, there's, wow, they, these people are really living the life. And then all of a sudden, we realized there's a projector. There's a big box over here. There's, the wall's just a, like a blank white wall, so it does make perfect sense. Right? It's actually genius. These people are, I want to meet them. Anyway, so now we're going to get ready. It's about that time. We've dilly-dallied enough. We've, we've eaten all of our charcuterie, and now it's yeah, time it's, to get ready. Uh, yeah, I don't no longer have the shakes. I feel fed. I feel good. I'm really happy for you. Thank no, you. I like I hate getting ready. I hate it. I, but, but you always get ready so fast. That's Kate. why because I hate it <laughs> Get it over with the thing that I strongly dislike about getting ready is Just like staring at myself in a mirror for an hour and standing up. I need to get a vanity like you Oh yeah, yeah. It's like, that must it really, help. It really upgrades the whole experience. I feel it upgrades. I have, no, because I'm like, I, I used to feel that way. I would sit kind of in front of the mirror, be uncomfortable. But when you're comfortable doing your makeup, it like, it's a full vibe. You feel so feminine, and like you're just like, oh, let me like put on my skincare. Like it's just so fun. Wow, you I'm really feeling like really inspired yes. right now because like I stand up and I'm like, ah, I'm getting a cramp, a knee cramp, like, and you're just trying to rush through it. See, I'm like, yeah. I stand oh, up in my bathroom. That's how I, I do it. I don't like the eyeshadow. Let me keep going, you know. Let me take it off and start over. Exactly. I'm like, let me just pack it on top. <laughs> I'm, no, I don't like it. I'm gonna just put more on top. That's what I'm gonna do. That's my strategy. Anyway, all right, everyone, the bathrobe is on. I'm beginning my getting ready process. I have three outfit options for tonight. I'm not really sure what the vibe is for the dinner party. So I brought like three different outfits, three different vibes, and I'm going to assess with the girls once we all get to the point of like putting our outfits on, like which one I'm going to choose. But I'm excited about all three of them. They're all very fun. So I'm excited to put that on, but first I have to do the makeup, the hair. I'm thinking of going for a slight wave in my hair, just a little something something, and then just like a bronzy, golden sort of look for my makeup and a little liner maybe. And that's that's it. That's all she wrote. So I'm gonna do that. Um, it's funny because all three of us have different bathrooms. Gretchen isn't here yet, but we all have our own bathrooms in our rooms. So it's funny, like we're not really getting ready together, but we are. It's like Brooke's like on the other side of the wall. A lot of space in this place. I cannot believe it. I'm feeling so grateful that we were chosen for this opportunity and I can't wait to meet everybody else that's going to be at this dinner and mingle with new people. I love meeting new people, these sorts of things. It's always so fun and great just to like talk to other women and especially people in fashion. I find them always to be so interesting. So I'm very excited for tonight and men. I really don't know much about what we're going to be getting ourselves into this weekend. So that's fun, I love the surprise. But I know for right now, my one job of the moment is to get ready. So I should do that and stop dilly-dallying. I guess sometimes we never think again. There's questions oh. here. Look who made it! Oh my god. At long last. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so three fairies? Three fairies. <laughs> she took not one, but two, but three <laughs> fairies. Yeah, here. That's what I wanted to see you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> that's how bad you. we want to wow. get you. How bad I you want to get you. We took a few bridges, but that's nothing. <laughs> We're I'm, I'm presenting the books for Katie. You look um, like you're like on Shark Tank. Yes. Hi, hi sharks. Hey, um, sharks. Hey, sharks. No, I'm giving Katie some reads. Of... Yeah, I asked her for like not depressing reads, and she's like, perfect, Pineapple Street. But then. But then. <laughs> Then I have another book. Yeah, this one's a little more serious, I would say. Um, some like darker tones, but it's yeah. contemporary, like romance, whatever. It's, but it's just so. Do you ever read normal people? I did read normal it's people. It's yeah. similar to like I would. It's like that and kind of tell me lies. Did you ever read Tell Me Lies? I did. I read both of those. Oh, okay. I would equate it to like kind of both of those. So I think you're gonna really like. Oh, it. she's an American in London. Yep. The charming Englishman. Is this about Taylor Swift or what? Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, well, we're gonna hopefully get some time to read these. Yeah, they're both like trip. only like 200, like less than 300 pages. So they're not super long. Quickie like, they're reads. Good. Yeah, so, good. add them to your summer reading list. You know? Yeah, everyone, take note, these two books. Yeah. I'm just waving my hair kind of like, 
willy-nilly. That's kind of my favorite strategy of the moment with my hair, just kind of, oh, the books, um, just kind of curling like random bits of it. And it kind of looks effortless, like a little bit less uh, polished when I don't curl every single piece. I just kind of like leave it on for like three seconds. This is my dry bar wand. I just kind of like boop, 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 a little bit of something there because honestly, the humidity kind of takes it from there and like just something happens. Oh yeah. Okay, this is option number one, everyone. I love it. Blue sparkly number. You need to cut the hanger strap. It's I like it with the shoes too. I think it looks cool. White shoes. Yeah. I have a clutch. I was going to do like a little gloss. But I also have like this blue one or orange. I don't know what to do. Don't know what to do, everyone. But the sparkles are fun. It's going to photograph really nicely. Yeah. Oh. It's but giving like Hampton's night. I Hampton's feel like night out? Is. Yeah. I think, I think it is. Yeah, now I didn't tan my leg. Can you tell me? No, not at all. Okay. You have a nice color right now. I feel like it's like, yeah, yeah from my various yeah, trips. Yeah, you do. And you're a rosé date. You look at the <laughs> rosé date. We don't speak of the rosé date. Do you have a um, body lotion? I do. Another blue number, but then this orange one's really fine. It's from Sailor. That's the brand. Okay. And obviously this will tie, but it's like a tangerine orange. I actually had like a phobia, like a very legitimate fear of orange things when I was young, asked my mom. But I actually really like this like shade. Might have to wear different underwear underneath, but this one's cute. This is option number two. And then I have one last blue option. All right, I changed another time because I'm crazy. Could you uh, oh, take a video oh, of me real quick? Of course, of course. I just, I don't have my tripod. Yeah, so this is what I put on. It's from Sailor and it's really comfortable. Gorgeous, stunning, amazing. And like, I like the fabric. It's like a really cool texture. Mm. And it reminds cute. me of being a kid, you know? Like, I feel like I had I a tank exactly top like that as a kid. About, like the one size. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I love this. It's really cute and like, How cute. it's a good cut. I like love it. Camera action, Gretchen. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna go. It's gonna be really fun. We're going over to the other house. It's like six minutes down the road. Can't wait for the party. Brooke is pretty in her pink this morning. Oh, thank you. Good yeah. morning. Good morning. Oh, it like a fall morning. Can a I fall go? morning? Yeah, because it's a gloomy outside, you know? A fall morning in the country. Yeah. In the countryside. <laughs> Our gorgeous view. I mean, the overcast is definitely. Yeah, yeah. That's more so what it is. Creating a vibe. Um, We're up bright and early this morning. We are going to Soul Cycle. Yeah. Brooke, this was your idea. It was my idea, but I knew Gretchen would be like, I, I knew she was an easy convince, and I know that you've been, you said, you're like, what are in the Hamptons? Oh, yes. Okay. So I was like, I, I told Brooke, I'm like, please Brooke. convince me to go with you to Soul Cycle at some point. This summer. This summer. We're just getting a kick off early. I don't really know what we're going to do the rest of the day. I think we're going to like get lunch after or something. Yeah. And then come back here and maybe I'll do a cannonball. Huh? I would at least put my foot in the pool. Like, Wait, just like Palm Springs, you the, do a cannonball. Oh, I do a cannonball everywhere we go. Yeah, Every I pool. Every, Brooke can attest. Yeah. Brooke, Brooke, them. Brooke Katie loves to jump in a pool. If there's one thing to know about me, <laughs> I love a pool. We're done. Soul Cycle, feeling accomplished. That was my third class ever. I think that's my favorite one I've done. Yay. Of the three. <laughs> I knew you guys were gonna love. I liked her. She played very good music. Yeah. Great energy. We got our paninis and breakfast sandwiches. Yes. And now we're going to get coffee. Coffee time. What a perfect Saturday. I'm feeling very content with our day. We have a pool party later, so hopefully the weather cooperates. I want the sun to come out, but we'll see. Gretchen! <laughs> Gretchen's just in her own world back there. <laughs> just getting your content. Yeah, the Chanel house is like very iconic, huh? And then there's Brooke in her own world over here. We're all just like standing in our own worlds. <laughs> it's a little bit dark in here. Okay. Day two, this is my outfit for a little pool party we're going to. It's kind of chilly, so I have a sweater, like a knit. I'm just gonna put on my shoulders just to keep me a little bit warm. But 
it's gonna be a really fun day regardless even though it's a little bit chilly and overcast and not the best weather for a pool party we are going to bring the energy and the vibes um it's gonna be fun so we're going over to the other house there's two houses the one that we're staying at here and then there's a, a larger one that we went to last night so the dress that i'm wearing right now is from free people it's actually so flattering i love how it's kind of like almost a, a corsety sort of top that really just like cinches you in and then it obviously just like flows out we have a very cool little back situation going on here too and then i just have some gold accessories charm bracelet just some fun little like nautical earrings i brought so many bathing suits that i'm actually probably not going to wear because it's just like a little smidge too cold to go in the water so not going to use the pool unfortunately though she does look very cute uh, but yeah this is the outfit excited to head over i'm going to bring you guys along and vlog the pool party but it's going to be great Guys, brr, it is cold out east. Who would have thought? We just got here to Moby's. We're getting dinner at this gorgeous little restaurant. I've been a few times actually, and it's really good Italian, like comfort food and very nice warm vibes. Good morning vlog. It is our final day, or I guess our final morning out east we woke up pretty early we're going to go get breakfast in town at san ambrose we have a reservation so we're gonna go into town get a nice farewell breakfast with gretchen before brooke and i head back to the city we're gonna drive back in today get home around like three it's been a really lovely weekend i wish the sun would have come out even just for like a couple of hours it would have been nice but you know, it is what it is. It's still been really nice and breezy. You can hear the birds chirping, lots of trees and stuff. It's always nice to come out here and just like get a little break. And I know the next time we come in July, we're coming for a few weeks in July, the sun will be well out. So we'll be fine then. Anyway, so we're gonna finish up loading the car and get going, go to breakfast. Yeah. 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 We're right here at brunch. guys why am i out of focus am i out of focus or is it just me maybe my eyes are out of focus or is it like really blurry i don't even know please tell me that i'm in focus nope what is going on <sighs> something is up with my lens ladies and gentlemen i don't know what <laughs> you want to know what happened do you want to know i just figured it out sometimes i'm just silly sometimes i you know i'm a smart girl but sometimes i just i really struggle with the very obvious simple things <laughs> so my camera was like so out of focus i'm like what is going on like when i'm up close it's perfectly fine then i step back and i'm like whoa what is going on why is it out of focus my auto focus was off so it was on manual focus which means it's like focused on one plane and then when you like obviously step away it's like it's not following you so now i'm back on auto so the beautiful little square is following me around see yep well you can't see it i can see it so yes what are the happenings what should i share so you guys just saw all the clips from the hamptons now i'm back and we're just back in the new york city swing of things i have a big work day today i had this brand breakfast this morning at 9 a.m. with Isle of Paradise. It was really cute. Brooke went too. We got to sit next to each other and it was just a nice little meet and mingle of sorts with the brand and like all the people that work for the brand and then a bunch of just New York City influencers and it was really sweet. It was at this um, little cafe called Spring Club, Spring Aspen Cafe. Where'd the club come from? No, Spring Cafe Aspen, Spring Aspen Cafe. I don't remember the order of the words, but it's really great. I actually get takeout from there all the time and I didn't ever realize that there was like an actual place that it comes from. That's the funny thing about ordering takeout. It's like you could order Uber Eats or Postmates or whatever from a store or a restaurant, I should say, and just never know what the actual like outside of it, what the brick and mortar location looks like. You're just like, it's coming from somewhere so I walked by this place probably a thousand times and just didn't know. So I got to have a nice intimate sit down breakfast there this morning. It was fabulous. I wore this really beautiful pink 
dress because the invitation was pink and I'm like, perfect. I have the perfect dress for this pink flower situation from Farm Rio. And afterwards I'm like, okay, I can't let this moment die. I have to get some more content, but there was no one with me. So I wandered around West Village until I found the perfect spot to prop my phone. And then I filmed a couple of things, put them on Instagram, put them on uh, TikTok. And I was like, wow, I'm exhausted. That was like, <laughs> you know, my morning, I look at my phone, it's like 1030. I'm like, wow, I really did a lot this morning. Like morning people, honestly, like I don't typically, if I don't have a workout, I don't typically leave my house for the day until sometimes the afternoon because I just like, you know, sit down and do work first thing or whatever. So it was nice getting out and being with the morning people, you know? So it was cool. We had a great morning. Now I'm going to just do a little bit of editing work or a lot of it, like a few hours probably of editing work for myself and for clients. And then I guess, what am I looking forward to? Tonight at eight, I have this dinner with a friend of mine I haven't seen in a bit. I think once the summer like really hits, you're like, wow, it is summer. Even though it's not officially summer until like the end of June, I think. It feels like summer. It's definitely like we're in that mindset now and people are going places and doing things. I feel like it's one of those things where like, you're like, where are my friends? Where are they? <laughs> like, is anyone even here? Who's here? Who's not? Who's on the move? I can't keep track of everyone. For me, I feel like I post every move I make, like everything I do, I post, but my friends, like I have to like literally look at their location to be like, are you even in the city? Like <laughs> people are on the move, you know? Um, so I'm getting dinner with a friend of mine. I haven't seen in three weeks now I guess even though we live like down the street from each other So we're getting dinner at Claudette, which is a really beautiful little restaurant in Greenwich Village If you guys are visiting definitely come it's really cute indoor outdoor very well decorated such good food I love the steak frites. So going there tonight knocking out the work today I have a to-do list ready to go ready to check some stuff off and then by around like seven o'clock I think I'll be good to just like refresh my face i still have my makeup on from this morning uh so i guess you know i always am back and forth in my mind about whether i should take all my makeup off and start over or just like keep what i've got and just like put a little extra on top what kind of person are you like if you put on your makeup at say 8 a.m and then it's like 6 p.m do you take it all off start over i guess it depends on the event like if it's something really fancy where i want to look my best i would like take it off start over start from scratch, but for just a dinner with my friend, like, you know, she's not gonna be like, oh, your pores look crazy, or, you know? <laughs> she's not gonna be doing that. And she's probably coming from the office, so I think I'll just like slap a little extra on top, you know, a little finishing touch of sorts. But yeah, what do you do? What's, what's, your, what's your method? A good question for the viewers. Um, also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I painted my nails, and I'm not sure if you know this about me. If you know, you know. I never paint my nails, my fingernails, my toes I always have done, usually gel petty, but my fingers I have such like a hard time with when it chips, it really is the only thing I can think about, I get so stressed, I pick it all off, it's like just a really stressful experience for me if like one of the nails chips and it just is one of those things where it's really not that deep and not that it's not that stressful but it is for me. So I just opt for typically like no nail polish at all and just like the natural look and I like I don't know what it is about me like it's not like that I'm lazy because I so Would like I make sure my toes are all good So like I'm not sure what it is about my fingers But I just get the, get really antsy and like so annoyed when my nails are chipped To the point where it really affects my life like my mood my productivity And then when I take it all off I feel like my nails are like really kind of like a weird feeling underneath like, or like whatever's left like the the way my nail feels I don't know I'm very weird about it but I just got this new color in from Essie it's a kind of like a clam bake color I know they have a clam bake it's not exactly that but um, it's like a red orange and I just like saw it in the bottle and I'm like I just like want to put this on right now even though it's already started to chip so I'm momentarily not gonna be okay once a big chip happens but anyway uh, painted my nails things are going well just going to knock out some work today and then go to dinner. And that is my day. <laughs> my hair is so funny right now because it's just long enough that like part of it can stay up in like a ponytail or a clip, but then there's these little, little babies that just hang low. I don't mind them, they're kind of cute, but I wanna show you guys some stuff. So 
I actually have a whole vlog coming out soon uh, that's going to talk more in depth about a lot of my apartment stuff, like this picture back here and my new dining set. So we're gonna talk about that at length very soon. But there are two fun, more, like, I don't wanna say accessory level pieces that I got for the apartment, but just like fun little things that I order that honestly weren't even that expensive that I want to show you guys that I'm very proud of. One of them being this rattan lamp. I really should have filmed it yesterday when I was putting this together because it was such a shit show, honestly, for lack of a better way to put it. It really isn't a hard thing to put together. I am just stubborn. And I was like, you know, it'd be a really fun time. You know, it'd be like a really solid afternoon. Me spending way too long trying to put together a lamp because I refuse to read the instructions. And I'm just going to put it together on my own without reading the instructions that were so darn simple. I'm just going to figure out my own creative way to do this. And I had to take it all apart and start over because I nearly broke the thing trying to put it together. But it wasn't that expensive. I want to say I'm going to have it linked in the description, I'm gonna find it and link it. It's from Target. And I saw a very, very similar one at either Serena and Lily or what was it? Like one of those really expensive, like bougie furniture sites. And it was just so expensive, I couldn't justify it. Even though I tend to have lamps for a long time, I wanted something just like this that was way pricier and I found it at Target for a fraction of the price. So. She is mine. And someone actually in the review said it looks kind of like a fishing rod and now I'm even more obsessed with it. Word to the wise, it doesn't come with a light bulb. Luckily I had one lying around. So there she is in her full lit glory. And if you're wondering about this light, where is it? If you're wondering about this light switch, yes, it is faulty. It is hanging off the wall. I'm aware of that. My super is taking a sweet time coming to fix it. And if he doesn't come by the end of this week, I'm gonna have to get someone on my own to come in and be mad about it because it's full on a fire hazard. Like this is like, this is such a fire hazard, not good for business. Like the wires are fully just like chilling in there, but like very close to like, look, like the person literally took like double-sided tape and tried to like stick it on there with double-sided tape. This is not working. So I need my super to come in and fix it. And I've been asking him for weeks and he hasn't come. So I'm going to text him again, but let's not look at that. Let's look at how gorgeous this lamp is. So I'm gonna have it linked. It's cute. And then what else? Oh, <laughs> you guys are gonna love this. Are you ready for it? Drum roll, please. My new print, I think I have to get a closer look, but this is what it looks like from where I'm standing and where it's hung. You guys know how I feel about martinis. So obviously I had to get this mood teeny print. I love cows, I love martinis. Why not put them together and call it a mood teeny? So I got it. I saw it on an Instagram ad, I wanna say. This is the artist and they are actually based in Brooklyn. So it came relatively quickly and the quality is so nice. And I got just an Amazon frame and she looks gorgeous up here for not even that expensive. So and I supported a small artist in the process of purchasing this. So I love Mutini girl. Mutini, I've just decided she's a girl. I could be wrong, but <laughs> I don't want to misgender her. I really don't, but I just am getting like hot girl energy vibes from this cow. So yeah, I like it. All right, that's it. All right, so anyway, like I said, I do have a longer vlog or a more like apartment dedicated vlog coming out in the next week or so. Oh. Why did that light just go out? What just happened? Did I blow a fuse? <laughs> you don't like to see that, do you? Oh, and that is gonna be my afternoon of trying to figure out why that just happened. All right, I'm Miss Fix-It around here because my super is ghosting me. 